This is the ICSA plan. It is a plan to bring the cat back to where it began, supporting active producers in the cattle, sheep and tillage sectors. It is a plan to bring money back to the low income sectors of Irish farming. And it is a plan that really delivers for active food producers, but also gets the balance right in terms of the green agenda. And that's why this plan is the plan Ireland should implement. Beef suckler, sheep farmers, need one strong unified voice, and ICC is the organisation with a plan to deliver that. As president, I'm going to fight to make sure that these farmers are given their rightful share of cap. Brussels has been very focused on the Green Deal, but we also want to make sure the cap delivers for farmers who are active and producing food. We mustn't forget what the cap was originally about. So we want to deliver real results, particularly for farmers in the low income sectors of cattle, sheep and tillage. ICSA has a plan. The plan includes a coupled payment for suckler cows on up to 40 cows, delivering about 120 euros a cow out of pillar one, which combined with our pillar two scheme for sucklers could mean 300 euros for a suckler cow. For sheep, a coupled payment also out of pillar one of 16 euros, which combined with our proposals from pillar two could mean up to 35 euros a yo. We also have a plan for the beef finishing sector, the sector that is hit particularly badly by the flattening of payments. And we want to see a payment for beef finishers to be more efficient, weighing cattle and trying to finish those cattle earlier putting real money back into the hands of finishers, but also helping with Ireland's climate change targets. And we are also very keen to look after intergenerational transfer, a key concern of Brussels. So that's why we've proposed 25% more in the suckler scheme for young farmers, 25% more in the sheep scheme for young farmers. And at the same time, we want to help the older farmers to transition away from suckler farming, calving cows, an enterprise which is difficult as you get older. So that's why we have a scheme for them as well. And above all, I think if we are to have a green agenda, our plan meets that need by proposing a real agri-environment scheme that puts real money up to 15,000 into the pockets of those farmers who go the extra mile delivering on the biodiversity agenda, helping the climate change uh, targets and making rural Ireland a more attractive landscape for all who live there and for the tourists who come as well. But you can't be more green if it is not economically sustainable. So we have to have a scheme that really pays. As ICSA Chief Chairman, I've always fought to make sure that sheep farmers are not left behind. I've not been found wanting in keeping the pressure on factories for a better price. And I won't be found wanting fighting for a better share of the cap for sheep farmers. Join ICSA to help us deliver 35 euros a year on the next cap. Only ICSA has a plan to deliver to sheep farmers and only ICSA is at the table with a fully cost of proposal. ICSA is here to stand up for the low income cattle, sheep, suckler and tillage farmers. ICSA is fighting for a far better agri-environment scheme that puts real money in your pocket. The EU has talked the talk. Now we must walk the walk and reward farmers for delivering on the green agenda. ICSA is the only organisation with a dedicated organic committee. If you are an organic farmer or thinking about it, you need to join the ICSA for a better future in organics. Lots of talking about the suckler herd, but only ICSA has a plan to deliver for suckler farmers. And only ICSA is at the TTL with a fully costed proposal. I'm proud to support ICSA's campaign for young farmers in the CAP. ICSA has a plan to allow young farmers to grow their suckler and sheep systems. Join ICSA and let's stand up together for our cattle, sheep and tillage farmers. So ICSA is the only organisation that has put forward a plan that is fully costed, that fits into the budget, provided that we get 150 million extra 
from the carbon taxes as promised in the programme for government. ICSA is the only organisation that has made sure that our plan is technically feasible under the EU regulations. We're using all the flexibilities that Brussels offers and most importantly, it very much addresses the objectives that Brussels wants. It gives real money to active and progressive producers, particularly of beef and lamb, and at the same time, it addresses the need for a green focused common agricultural policy. So we think this is win-win for the minister if he takes the entire ICSA plan as one coherent unit. ICSA is the association with long experience of what it takes in Brussels. And ICSA, an organisation of real farmers fighting on the real issues to put real money in your pocket. ICSA is bringing the cat back home to where it belongs. Join ICSA because all farmers matter to us. We are cattle and sheep farmers and we matter too.